So, your to RV toilet is clogged. What do you do? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, back at you with a how to unclog a toilet in an RV. Now, I tell you, I tried to uh, search this on YouTube, and all I could find were ones very minimal, and there was one actually that says you can't clog an RV toilet. Well, this one's clogged. Now, I don't know what caused it. I'm thinking it was probably poor maintenance from the previous owner because it's a, it's a used RV, but as you can see, I have this little stick down in here that I've been kind of breaking up the material. I've been doing this now for a few hours, letting it sit with chemical in here, using the black tank rinse to kind of free it up on the bottom side, and it seems like it is starting to work. So we're gonna go through this in a minute, so do stay tuned. So I know it, it, it's such a mess, but what I've been doing here, I cut off the water for, the, for it so I didn't put more water in here. It was just kept filling it up. Then I just got one of these marshmallow uh, poker sticks to kind of try to break up what was in there. And you can, you can feel it going down through it. And it seems like it's been breaking up. Um, my toilet is about half as uh, high as it used to be. So I'm hoping, and, and it seems like it's, it's caking up, but I poured a whole bottle of chemical in here to try to get it to work. And I'm hoping that this is gonna work out here. So let me show you what we do next. So what I've done a few times is, is going ahead and I luckily have a black tank rinse and what I'll do is I'll stay in here until it gets to be full and then I'll go on out and empty it. Oh, so now I'm on this side here, I'm going to have my lovely assistant Maureen here pull the black valve but I want to just show you what you're going to be looking for. Go ahead and pull it Maureen. And I'm just waiting to see, see right now it's still coming out clear so I'm going to go ahead and close it again Maureen. What I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and continue trying to fill it up and rinse it out. I've, I've let it soak for a few hours and it seems to be working, working so I'm going to keep trying to loosen it up till it unclogs. As you can see, I was able to work it through. The clog is gone. Now I just got a big mess down there. I just got to make sure that I get the rest of this mess that's down here pushed through the system. Okay, so now that I, I got the toilet, it actually flushed, I'm going to pull it again and let's see how well it does here. See, now you can see it is really cleaning out that black tank. You saw earlier how it was clear. Now it's getting all that mess out of there. Now it's just a matter of filling the toilet to see if that's going to solve the problem. So now let's check and see if we're going to have a problem with this filling up anymore. Nice thing is I can save this stick here for a fire tonight. Have some fun with some marshmallow s'mores. So it looks like it's filling up again. We're going to wait and see what, what happens here. It does look like it's not sitting there, but well, I guess we are okay. Yep. It is going down, folks, so I think we are in business. Now, now for added measure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hot water from our shower to get down in there and see if that will help alleviate any leftover or lingering uh, clogs that might be still down there. So I'm going to flush a few times with some hot water. Now be careful when you're filling this up with hot with water at all. Sometimes you're going to get some bubbling back up, and that could be splashing up a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. It's filling up a little bit here. This nice hot water, and you see how it bubbles up as it's going down. But I'm hoping that by doing this with the hot water, this is going to go ahead and clean up the residual clog that we had in this black tank. Now, to keep this from happening in the future, be sure that when you're dumping your black tank, that you fill the tank up, especially if you if you're, if you're, um, have the benefit of having a black tank flush, be sure that you fill up the tank before you dump it. Be careful on that. I'm gonna link a how to 
flush your black tank or use a black tank flush down below this video, but make sure you do that. Do not be dumping your black tank if it's showing a third full. Remember that gravity is your friend. You know, your tank is only about yay tall. So being a third full, that's not gonna be able to pull out the solids that need to come out. So keep that in mind when you're dumping your black tank. You, if you don't have a black tank rinse, use your, uh, your shower, use your toilet, whatever, to get that black tank full before you dump it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, how to unclog an actual RV toilet. You know, I, I was kind of glad that it did happen so I was able to put one together for you because I could not find one that actually showed you that the toilet was actually clogged. Uh, they were just kind of giving you tips and so forth. But and well, like I say, there was one that says there's no such thing as a clogged RV toilet. So there you have it, folks. We actually did have a clogged RV toilet. Not sure what caused it, but the, the best thing you could do is put a lot of chemical in there, fill up your tank full, so it's showing full on the gauge, let it sit for a few hours, and then work it a little bit. Be careful because when you're working, you don't want to use any metal tips and things of that nature when you're trying to push down through that toilet because you will be hitting the tank, the bottom of the tank. It's only about two feet down. Uh, so just work it from both sides and that's what you're doing by using your black tank rinse. Hopefully you have a black tank rinse. If you don't have a black tank rinse, there is a, a tool out there that you can actually hook a hose up to where your sewer hose is and it has a gate valve so that it shoots the water behind the gate valve so it actually fills the black, uh, black tank. So that is a, another way that you can fill the black tank in the event that you don't have a black tank rinse. So hopefully you found this helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.